Hello friends, I'm back again. How are you? I hope you're all healthy and healthy. Today I'm here with another technical video and going to solve your major issue. Think about it. What could it be? Hmm. So, the first issue that comes into your mind will be how to create multiple chromes, how to take screenshots on PC, and how to use Bandicam app. So let's start. So first of all, we'll be learning how to create multiple chromes. As you can see on the screen, my computer, you're gonna have to open Chrome browser, maximize the screen, and click on the icon button. It's present right next to the three dots in the right top corner. Click the icon and scroll down my I have a long list because there are a lot of chrome multiples I have click on the lowest option that says add a new screen will open now you're gonna have to customize your chrome multiple you can use whichever icon you like I'm choosing the glasses you can even write the name according to your wish and remember to click the box that says create a desktop shortcut for this user after that click add and it'll start loading a new screen will open that says make chrome your own click on get started you can add bookmarks to your favorite google apps i'm going to skip it you can pick a background i choose geometric shapes you can choose it according to your wish and do next now you can set chrome as your default browser but i'm simply going to skip it next press on continue and it'll start loading after that, it's going to ask you to sign into Chrome. You can do it if you wish, and if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. It's not necessary. You can simply close it. I'm going to close it because it's not necessary for me. Once you've closed it, close the next Google tab. And you'll see at the bottom of the screen, of my screen, that a new Google multiple has been created that says glasses. On top of it is the Chrome browser we used to create the new multiple and underneath it is the glasses Chrome that we have created now. There are a lot of functions of creating Chrome multiples. You can use them both at the same time without any problem. It saves time. You can watch playlists or do multiple tasks at the same time. In this simple way, you can create as many Google multiples as you like. It's a super easy way. It saves so much time. You can use them both at the same time. and it won't glitch. So the next topic that comes into your mind is how to use Bandicam. Well, before using Bandicam, you need to learn to download it. So first of all, go to Google Chrome. From there, type out Bandicam app, download it. Its setup will be downloaded and then you're gonna need to download its setup by clicking next next and when it's officially downloaded its icon will appear on your desktop screen that's all that you need to do to download it now how to use it so first of all open bandicam app click on yes wait for it to load it might take a little while the first screen appears the most advanced game video and screen recording app. A new screen appears as you can see. In the top right corner there are two bars. One is the big one and one is the small one. The small one hides the icon into hidden apps so that it won't disturb in your pictures. Next, right next to the desktop in the left corner, there is an arrow. Click on it. And the third option, full screen selected, as you can see on the top, a new bar appears. Click on the long bar. Now it's ready to take pictures and record videos. As you can see on the top, there's a camera for taking pictures and a recording button to record videos. In this way, we can easily take pictures by pressing on the camera and record videos by pressing on record. Next, go to your documents. Open documents from there.
It will take a while to load. Click on Bandicam at the top. As you can see, the pictures are all stored here. Next, you can open whichever app you like. You want to share those pictures. Click on Attachment. Click on the pictures you want to share. Press Open. And finally, share it. As you can see, the circle has not yet ticked. That means it's sending yet. It will take a while to send. And finally, the picture has reached. Nice. I hope this helped. If you liked our video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss the notification of our upcoming videos. Thank you.